they're not fighting, just so you know. And the brown dog is not upsetting the Sheltie, so I don't want to hear about anybody thinking that the Sheltie is, is being picked on and is upset, because he's not upset at all. Coco, the brown labradoodle, has a very unusual way of socializing because I guess she wasn't socialized from an early age, so she's still learning how to play properly. And the best the best way, the best teachers I've always found for how a dog can learn to be social is the pack. The pack will tell another dog what is acceptable and what isn't. That is as long as most of your pack members are, are stable pack members. You can't have a pack full of dogs that don't know how to play and then expect them to teach each other. But. This is a wonderful pack full of dogs that are well socialized, know how to play very nicely. So it's good that it's good that um, that Coco is part of this pack. She's actually a lot better than she was in the beginning. She didn't play at all, and uh, she didn't know how to play. And then she started doing this thing, what I call herding, which was a little bit too aggressive for the rest of the pack, so they started to uh, to let her know that they didn't appreciate the nips and the you know the the attitude, the over the over attitude. I don't know how to explain it, but they taught her, so she's actually learning. She still gets that way once in a while, but she's overall much better. Woo! And that's Daisy. Daisy's awesome. She's from Mexico. She was a Mexican street dog. <laughs> she was really shy when I first met her. When they first, when her owners first brought her to us, she was super shy. She was afraid of big dogs and men. And uh, whenever we go, whenever we'd go to the dog park or something, she would see big dogs and she'd see guys and she'd like be really nervous and she wouldn't want to walk past them. She's so much better now. When we meet other big dogs. She's still careful, but she's not fearful. There's a difference. And she warms up to them 